Hey, what's up everyone? Hopefully you guys' day is going well. Did you like the new intro? Smash the like button if you did. If you didn't, like still smash it though. We're talking about carbs today. We are gonna center them around training, give you three possible options for a carb loaded breakfast or really any time meal and get the most out of your training in a carb loaded state to get endurance, more strength and that much more energy out of your gym. All of that in turn is gonna turn into gains, progress, whatever you wanna call it. Let's break down these three meal options. Let's talk about why being carb loaded is beneficial at all before we even break down what we're talking about. So for years and years, I trained in a fasted state, meaning that I didn't consume any carbs, any sort of energy source before going to the gym, working out for two hours, coming back and then consuming what can only be described as a smorgasbord. So I did this for a long time particularly because I didn't know that there was any other option. The supplements I was taking at the time didn't really work well with breakfast. I mean, I don't know how many times I took pre-workout, tried a little bit of carbs, and it either made the food taste gross or completely undermined the pre-workout. All of that mix in your stomach just sort of null and voided the pre-workout, which means you had a crappy day at the gym, which means you got no gains and no progress, and it really turned me off to adding carbs. And then I started to look into better ingredients, better supplements, and then meal timing to make the supplements maybe not counteract in your stomach as much as they were previous. And it's really been the last like six months I've been training in a carb state. And I have to say, it makes the world of the difference. In this fasted state, you work off the carbs and energy source the previous day. The problem with lean bulking is you wanna remain in a calorie surplus. So if I start the day, already cutting back to zero and then probably less than zero because we train to a high intensity. That means the second I'm eating, that first meal is basically just starting me at zero. So I eat a 1200 calorie meal to get to zero and then everything else past that is now my surplus and now I'm essentially 1200 calories behind the day and you gotta make up for that. That means your seventh meal of the day, now you're eating way too much and it's just not fun to have to constantly consume thousands of calories. I love eating, but it's the hardest part of bodybuilding. You just gotta constantly focus on eating over and over. So training in this fastest state usually puts you behind on the eating schedule and honestly, training carb loaded makes me exponentially stronger because of the supplements I take now. So first off, let's talk about my typical pre-carb meal, which consists of a cup, maybe a cup and a half of oatmeal. It's gonna be uh, vanilla Greek yogurt and some sort of wheat toast. It doesn't matter. There's a thousand different types of toast options. There's tons of different oatmeals. Whatever works in the sort of generality, the oatmeal is gonna have a ton of complex carbohydrates for that long-term energy. The yogurt, it's gonna have some protein. It's gonna have some sugar to kind of constantly keep up that blood sugar levels, which is gonna give you energy. And that wheat toast is sort of just double backing on to that oatmeal with giving you a longer lasting carb source. This is my probably 70% pre-workout meal, my pre-carbs. And then on the inside of that, we are gonna double dose it with a scoop of carb 10, a scoop of MTS whey, ambrosia, ritual, it's gonna bring in some healthy fats, it's gonna bring in some healthy sugars, it's gonna help mental awareness, it's gonna help energy. It's definitely a unique product, but one that I've been absolutely addicted to. So that three breakdown is gonna be huge. That's my intra carbs. So I, and then this is gonna be unibody across the whole board. All three are gonna have this, because that is never not part of my gym routine, is my intra carbs. But on top of that, is that what we just described is your pre-carb meal. That's about 70% of the time, that's what I eat. The other two options make up the 30%, kind of averagely split, just to break up the monotony, which is very easy to do, of the sort of oatmeal, toast, and yogurt grind. Now the next one is my second favorite of the three options. It's gonna be egg whites. Generally, it's about four to five eggs worth of egg whites. So I don't really know what you classify that as cups, maybe like a half a cup of egg whites. It's gonna be some sort of bagel. Mine is almost always blueberry bagels and a banana. So the eggs are gonna give you protein, which are gonna be long lasting breakdown for energy. The bagel is gonna give you complex carbohydrates, maybe a little sugar from the blueberries. And the banana is gonna give you potassium, sugar, and a quick version of carbs, which your body's gonna be able to break down. All of this is to get carbs. Carbs are good for training. Carbs are an energy source of the body, which you definitely want to utilize, and all three of these will give you a really good chunk of carbs. 
The third one is the simplest of all of them. It's usually my tertiary backup one and I don't use it unless for some reason I'm out of eggs. I don't have any toast. My oatmeal is like exploded in the microwave and it's not going well. It is rice with uh, raisins and cinnamon kind of mixed into it and peanut butter toast. Simple, down and dirty, it works. The rice is gonna give you simple sugars and carbohydrates. The peanut butter is gonna give you protein and fats and the toast is gonna give you an extra source of carbohydrates and the cinnamon is gonna give you cinnamon. It's really basic, it's gonna give you some carbohydrates and sugar and it's gonna help to feel that muscle along with the intracarb source. This is gonna help you be immensely, immensely stronger in the gym. Like I said, for years I trained, fasted, and I got really good results. This last year and a half, I've gotten my best results of my entire life, strength-wise, PR-wise. And in turn, it's probably gonna be because I got a camera in front of me, I got a community expecting things, I got the best supplements in the world you can get, but a lot of it's gonna come down to the training style that's just different. Adding in carbs is so much better. I've forgotten to eat, I ran out of time, and I didn't get a train carbed up, and honestly, it makes a night and day difference. It's the equivalency of hitting hundreds on incline dumbbell press versus hitting 80s. They're close in number, but if I can add a 20% strength increase, that's 20% progress that could be lost or could be gained depending on skipping your pre-carb meal. So if you are fasted training, if you are skipping breakfast, it's the most important meal of the day, that's definitely true for average day people, average sort of nine to five grinders who go to the office and do their kind of stuff. It is exceedingly important for people who train, especially in the morning. You don't have to eat this kind of stuff. Let's say you train at eight o'clock at night. You don't have to eat breakfast type foods. Just center maybe a meal prep option before you go to, to the gym. That's gonna be square for you. We just happen to train at seven o'clock in the morning, so we eat breakfast foods because that's that's what you eat in the morning is breakfast foods. I won't break that habit. So if you haven't tried working out, exercising, breaking your routine down, carved up and fueled up, I definitely think you should try it. Give it a week, write down your numbers, what you do fasted, and then write down your numbers, what you do carb loaded and ready to go. And I guarantee, even if it makes a 10% difference, if I walked up to you on the street and said, hey, here's a magic pill that gets you 10% stronger, 10% more endurance, and 10% more progress, I guarantee, I mean, it would be a little sketchy, but I guarantee you would take that pill to get 10% progress. So try the carved up and ready to go workout system. See what the data can give you. See what kind of progress can be made. Worst case, you, you get a little bit more carbs than you probably used to early in the morning and you didn't lose anything because of it. As always though, hopefully you guys' day is going well. You've gotten out there, smashed some goals, made things happen, but most importantly, take it easy.